Hello there, I'm Mike and I'm here with a playtesting pre-release build of Zen, a gay sequel. Now, you're probably wondering why I have opened up this video on week 7. And the basic answer is, I've made a mistake. And I said at the end of the last video that I was just going to plough on I actually I said two things in the in the video at the start I said I was I might look back at the uh, guide and then at the end of the video I said I was just going to plow on well I was talking to Bob directly after my video and went Bob I don't I don't know whether I'm on the right track or not and I haven't sent the video to him yet um but I uh, I uh, I said I I here's what I've done here's how many weeks I'm up to and he went oh <laughs> So he gave me some pointers. Now, as you can see, the I have changed the weekly panel for week seven a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through this and I'll probably skip over anything that we haven't seen or try to. I'll try and cut this um, as short as I can in editing. But what we're going to do is basically I have been told if I'm already up to week seven, then what I need to do in order to get Malik is get a camera. Now, there's two characters you can get a camera from, and the second character is Mike. Now, I've missed my first opportunity to get a camera, and Mike also has a camera, and apparently, if I hang out on the right days at Q&A, I should bump into Mike between weeks seven and nine. So, I have modified my plan slightly. In fact, I'm going to save that as the default for the moment. And I am going to plow through until I get that scene, because once I get that scene, I should I should apparently be on the right track to uh, get Malik. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute this plan and see and follow closely what happens. And hopefully, we see some of Mike. I'm actually just watching this right now to see what happens. Um, thought there was something flying around my light then. Um, nothing's happening yet, but hey, it's between week seven and nine. I hope something happens. Anyway, we know what's going to happen here. So we're syncing up with Adam. Uh, just going to go through this very, very quickly. Right. Default all. And go to class that day. Meh. Um, his fitness is high. His students is high. It doesn't really matter. As long as we do the Q&A hangout on Monday and Wednesday afternoons. I'm just going to see what happens. Oh, Q&A. Oh, OK. Right. We have got somewhere. OK. I walk into the Q&A room, expecting it to be empty. To my surprise, Mike is sitting on a couch doing some homework. Oh, hello. Hey, sorry. Wasn't expecting anyone to be here. Oh, sorry. I think this might be a good place to get some homework done. No, no. I mean, it's a pleasant surprise to find someone here. I assume most people will be in class. Ah, I sit on the opposite end of his couch. I also also see <laughs> I I also secretly keep hoping James would, would sh will show up. He seems really nice, dude. I know he's like this old wise sage or something. It's just nice talking to someone who struggled with his sexuality. Come out at your own pace or whatever, right? Yeah, it's weird. But that was really useful to hear. I spent most of my first semester here kicking myself for not making it to a Q and A meeting. I would try to come and then bottle out. I almost did it again, as you saw. Dude, I definitely had that feeling. I think I was lucky, because my best friend's roommate is gay, and having him to talk to was useful, but coming out to them was the hardest thing I've ever done. I actually had him help... I actually had him help... I actually had him help me come to my first Q&A meeting. Apparently, he had a similar experience and got my friend to bring him, so... I'm a bit envious of Dan in that way. He seems like the kind of person that's never struggled and just doesn't care what others, others think. He comes off he comes off a bit badly, maybe, but there's a certain bit of appeal in his herbis. 
Not for me, mind you. He's far too crass, but it's still appealing. I think I agree with that. So James's confidence is appealing too, and he's a lot nicer about it. I also, uh, kind of fancy him, James that is. Dude, you heard Dan. Who doesn't? And who isn't at least a little jealous of Chris for dating him? Mike laughs. Anyway, sorry, I'm banging on a bit. <laughs> you what? My mum often says I could talk for England, but I, I often get a bit wordy when I'm not sure what to say. I can get back to my homework. Actually, I was going to ask if you wanted to watch a movie, but if you're doing work... No, that sounds nice, actually. I look over the DVD collection and pull one out. Dude, I've heard this is really bad. Want to try it? Campy? With how, mu with how much people complain about it, maybe? Mike shrugs. Sure. We watch... We watch Gili. Gili. I think it's I think it's how you pronounce it, which turns out to actually be just a, which turns out to actually be just a mess. Although comment about Ben, a comment about Ben Affleck turns into a discussion about celebrity crushes. Dude, I'll have to check that out. Torchwood, right? That's right, and th and also the first series of Doctor Who. We look back at the screen, which seems to be scrolling the credits. Oh, I guess the film's done. I wonder what happened. But I feel like this conversation was more interesting anyway. Yeah, I put the DVD away. I should probably get back to work, but thank you for watching and talking with me. Yeah, I should probably go as well. I'm thinking I'll try and try I'm thinking I'll try to to come do work here every Monday and Wednesday afternoon if you want to talk talk some more if you want to talk some more or anything. Right. Okay. 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 It's actually week eight but whatever i think it's week eight i'll keep that in mind thanks see you fan tastic cool double whammy q a i find to my surprise malik and liz g there in addition to mike honey it's a stupid idea anyway Dreams are not stupid, Malik, and there's no time like college to try out new things. Um, hi. Carlos! She jumps up and gives me a hug. Help me convince Malik to follow his dreams. What now? Liz is trying to convince me to take classes I can't afford to take, both in terms of time and money. He won't... He won't even say what it is he wants to do. Does it matter? It costs money and it doesn't contribute toward me graduating. You should pursue your interest too. Yes. Spoken like someone who doesn't have to pay for housing or get a job after college so he's not out on the streets. Malik. Well, I still think you should at least pursue it. If it's something you can pursue. It's not something I can pursue. How do you know? You won't even say what it is. They're silent for a bit. I want to try out photography, okay? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. But it's fine. I can't afford the fees for the classes, and they would be a distraction from what I really need to be doing to graduate. Liz sits next to him and wraps her arms around him. What you need to be doing is giving yourself yourself some you time. You're so busy with classes and work all the time. Phot photograph for fun. Well, I have access to a photo shooting studio for, for my major. I could get you in. I could model for you. Honey, I'd appreciate that, but even if I had the time, I don't have a camera. I'll get you one. I don't need your charity, darling. <laughs> Malik, you're not allowed to get me a camera. Um, I actually have a camera I never use. Mike's voice on the other side of the room startles me. I bought it after my first time abroad. I bought it since it was my first time abroad, but I haven't used it after orientation week. Darling, that's very generous of you, but I couldn't. Michael digs a small camera out of his backpack and holds it out. No, please. It's literally been in my school bag since then. I know it's probably not quite what you need if you want to study photography, but maybe it'll get you started. Ma Malik takes it gingerly, almost as if he's afraid of it. Honey, really, you don't have to. It's fine, please. I want you to have it. I want you to have it because I want the player, who's also me, an older version of me, to actually... Um, be happy that he's going to get somewhere with this playthrough. You don't have you don't have an excuse now. I suppose I don't. Come on, I'll show you the photo studio. Malik lets Liz grab his arm and pull him toward the door. Thank you, Mike. This is very nice of you. Bye, Carlos and Mike. 
They head out the door and Mike seems to return to his homework. I sit on the couch next to him. That was really nice of you. He looks at look, he looks up at me and shrugs. It was all true though. I really do ha do have no need for it anymore. Still, he just shrugs again. Were you interested in the movie? Yeah, that sounds good. We watch Free Willy together before I f figure I should head out. Okay. 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 We are back on track. I've got to get all the way through to whatever week I was at. I'm sure I'm going to see a lot of things that happen now, but I'm going to try and pad through. If there are bits that we've seen, I will try and skip through them. So, yeah. So, what week did I say that? 11, so we're on 9, so it's not too many weeks to, to um, I don't know. Things are, we've got the Q&A workout now, hang out, workout, yeah, the Q&A is now a gay gym. Right, okay, so, um, Because there's swimming involved, um, Malik, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, uh, when, 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 yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Monday, okay, okay, no, I don't need to worry. Monday evenings, Wednesday and Friday, fr Friday, Friday mornings, which means I will get to see Mark anyway, because I'm going to the gym there, because Malik also works mon Mondays, Mondays as well. So I think that's going to be fine. That's going to be fine. That's what we're going to do. I've saved it anyway so I can come back. This is going to be an editing nightmare if I get this wrong and I have to think on my feet. It's a little bit about sexuality and being from another country. Yes, because we both got that in common. Confidence plus Mike. Oh, oh, oh. You've walked away from the desk, or you haven't. Malik is working the desk as usual. Hi, honey. I saw up my card and he hands me a towel. Thanks. By the way, I've been shooting some photos in the studio and I was wondering if you'd model for me. It's gonna happen. <laughs> me? This Friday, Liz says she can get me into the studio again. Sure, I'll model for you. Oh, thank you, darling. He scribbles something down on the sheets of paper and hands it to me. Friday after classes? That's the room number of the studio. I'll be there. I hope you have a nice workout. Workout itself is very uneventful. I'm <laughs> making noises now. It's just... <laughs> Friday evening, I head to the photo studio to meet up with a model for Malik. Ooh, this is a room we haven't seen before. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Malik and Liz G are there setting up some lighting. Carlos, she gives me a hug. Glad you made it, honey. So I'm going to leave you two alone, but if anyone asks, I was, I was here the whole time and just stepped out quickly for something. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, but do ev but do do everything I would do if I like men and penises. <laughs> she winks at Malik and leaves, shutting the door behind her. I can feel myself turning red. Malik finishes setting up a light before picking up his camera and smiling at me. So, uh, where do you want me? I stare at the seat that seems to be set up for me in the light. In the lights. Sorry, that's a stupid question. Uh, how do you want me, honey? I'll take you anyway. Anyway, I can get you. I sit on the seat and feel my cheeks flushing. Which ones? Um, um, but anything, anything you're comfortable with is fine, sweetie. Clothed, shirtless, more than shirtless. The thought of being naked in front of Malik somehow is incredibly arousing, and I'm sure he can see my cock suddenly harden in my pants. I, uh, but what about Mark? What about Mark? Wouldn't he, uh, feel weird about you for photographing other, um, naked guys? My heart starts beating more rapidly, and somehow this feels like a significant question. Malik just looks confused. Honey, why would Mark care what I do? Because he's your boyfriend? Malik stares at me and I don't dare breathe. Then he's laughing. I'm not and I'm not sure whether that's a good or bad sign. Oh my god, he's just gonna find this hilarious. Well what? Honey, 
We're not dating. We're not even having sex. He has a long-term monogamous boyfriend he's been with for two years. So the same dialogue, just in a different setting. It feels like I can breathe again, unless that's a huge breath I've been holding. Besides, we would us destroy each other if we dated. He makes too many terrible puns, and I would be too serious and uptight for him. I... But this isn't the first time this has happened. I keep telling him we should get matching shirts that say, I am not screwing Mark. Or Malik. We're just good friends. Or Malik. I don't know if that dialogue there is uh, quite right. Say, I'm not screwing Mark. Or Malik. I feel like it should have been included in the thing. Oh, oh no, I see what it is now. That's what would appear on the shirt. And then he's going on about, okay, it's not a, it's not a grammatical mistake. It's just, um, <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> he's going to be watching this and shaking his head. And a lot of other people are going to be shaking their heads. We're just good friends, kind of like you and Adam. A huge sense of relief settles over me, but it's really replaced with a new sense of worry about what's coming up next. So you're single? For the moment, yes. Why do you ask? I'm certainly aware of how close he's gotten to me, and my heart starts pounding again. Let's do the B. Well, the M. Um, <laughs> that could mean a lot of things in this game. There's so many M's. There's so many people we call starting with M. Did you only not ask me that sooner because you thought Mark and I were dating? Uh, I don't know. Uh-huh. He moves closer to me and the worry grows stronger as the seconds tick by. Is that a no? Maybe I'm still deciding. I can feel I can feel his breath on my chin now as he looks up at me and his hands run up my arm. I... Or maybe I decided a long time ago and was just waiting for you to be ready. His hand reach, reaches my cheek. I stare back into his eyes and swallow. Uh, I'm ready. Then he's kissing me. My hands find his back and he... His find my hair, and the camera bangs against the side of my head. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you in the head. He puts the camera down and smiles at me. Then he's kissing me again. I pull him onto my lap, and he wraps his legs around my back and arms around my neck. My hands work up the, their way to the back up the back of his shirt, suddenly filled with the need just to feel his flesh and be close to him. He breaks, and suddenly I'm aware of how breathless I am and how my heart is racing. I'm also suddenly aware that my hardened cock is pressing against his butt. Honey, if I'd known you kissed like that, I would have done so years ago, boyfriends or not. I, um, that was really nice. He laughs at, he laughs at this for some reason and shifts against my crotch, making me gasp. So as much as I'd love to continue this, maybe forever, we're unfortunately on the time limit. Liz only has this room booked for another half an hour. He looks at the clock on the wall, or so. I, yeah, okay. He detaches himself from me and stands, and grabs the camera again. The sudden lack of his weight against me feels strange somehow. We'll continue this discussion afterward, though. <laughs> I, I'd like that. Should we get to photos, then? Oh my goodness. What the hell should I pick? Really? Is there a is there a bad? Is there a good? Hmm. <laughs> okay. I have a feeling I should have a look at the stats as I press some of them. I mean, what on earth would Naked do? Well, I know what Naked would do. Would it get me a CG? Would it get me a CG? Right, okay. Ooh, we're locked in. Okay, and that's the... Uh, uh... Oh my god. Okay, let's hit this one and see what happens. I pull off all my clothes before I can overthink things and regret it. The air suddenly feels too cold, my cock twitches. I cover my crotch with my hands. <laughs> oh, so you're making this hard for me, aren't you? Oh my god! <laughs> 
He comes up and kisses me again, quickly running his hand down my chest and stomach. Maybe stay standing and turn slightly to the side? Neither of us are really sure what we're doing, but Malik seems to get used to the camera and puts me at ease as well. The camera loves you, sweetie. Smile for me. Did I save that? I did. Good, 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 good. Yes, girl. <laughs> I don't know how these will turn out, but that this was a lot of fun at least. There's a knock at the door. And the next group is right on time. I put all my clothes back on and Malik gets the door. I hope that is a sensible choice. I hope that isn't the one that pulls you, gets you a really bad ending. I pull my clothes back on and Malik gets the door. Can you imagine that? You, 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 you uh, end up with some, you end up with someone, ask them to be your boyfriend and then just strip. <laughs> After having a little, a bit of a, a, a clinch in a, in a photography room alone. So do you, do you, we want to find a quiet, quiet place to talk? Yeah, we can go to my room if you want. Oh, honey, just what are you planning on doing? N nothing. We can go somewhere else too. It was just a suggestion. Mas Malik laughs. Honey, I'm teasing. Not that I'd mind that anyway if you had other intentions. I may be. We walk into what looks like the tail end of a party. It's not terribly pleasant, but at least it makes me feel less nervous about taking Malik to my room. I didn't realise there was a party here tonight. You ditched this for me? Was that sarcasm? I'm not sure. We make it to my room without being accosted by anyone. I sit on my bed and Malik sits down next to me and puts his head on my shoulder. That's... Oh, that's, that's okay? Yeah, that's very okay. I put my arm around his back and pull closer to me, and it somehow feels right. And even just this proximity is arousing. So, you're sure you want to get yourself involved in the mess that is my life? Dude, I work two jobs and sleep on the couch, and probably take too many classes, and I'm not exactly subtle about things as you may have noticed. I think you're the bravest person I know. Did that help? I'm just curious, did that... I'm guessing it did. I'm just... Yeah, um, I don't know. He's quiet for a bit, his hand tracing random patterns in my side. That means a lot to me, Carlos. Um, I can't promise that I'll never embarrass you, but I know you're still trying to navigate coming out, so I want to try and be respectful of that. I kiss his forehead, the other hand finds my other shoulder, and he traces his fingers down my collarbone. So what are you into? Um, in what sense? Sex. <laughs> um, not that I ever want to pressure you into anything, but I'd be lying if I hadn't thought about your body, especially after that preview you gave me earlier. I don't know, I've never done anything with a guy. Well, what would you be into? I, uh, I guess I've always wanted the bottom. Huh. That's surprising to me somehow, but I suppose that works out better. Why? I'm not really into anal in general, so I'm, I was just thinking about what I'd do if you wanted to fuck me. Probably let you, honestly, but this is easier. Oh. That feels like a disappointment somehow, but I didn't expect Matt would want to top me anyway, so this just means I won't have to do that for him. Oh honey, there's more ways to have sex than just sticking cocks up each other's asses. It feels generally unsanit unsanitary anyway. I know you can always douche, but that seems like more pain than it's worth. <laughs> ah, I wouldn't know. But toys are fun, and mouths and cocks. His hand moves to my thigh and starts trailing up towards my cock. Speaking of cocks, please. His fingers trace over the bulge of my pants and I gasp. It's been a while since I've done this. His fingers curl around my bulge and he strokes me through the rough fabric of my jeans. Dude, that's... Oh... Is that okay? That's more than okay. He unbuttons my jeans and slides his head down my underwear, gripping me more properly. His hand feels too good and it takes me an embarrassingly, embarrassingly short time before I find my release, coating my underwear and his hand with my cum. I lie back in bed, leaning a, get, a bit against the wall, afterward, trying to catch my breath. I can hear Malik grabbing some tissues and presumably cleaning, cleaning himself off. Then he's next to me again, kissing me. Dude. 
How is that so good? You must be more, more stex, stexed. <laughs> words, words, again, words fail me. You must be more sex starved than I thought, honey. Maybe, must be. Should I do something for you? I'm okay for now. I just can, couldn't keep my hands off of you any longer. Okay, I'm going to do something for you next time, though. I look forward to it. He kisses me again. I should probably be going myself. I hope I see you tomorrow. It's only, only it's my only real real break this week since I took on extra shifts while everyone was away. Definitely. Good night, sweetie. He leaves and I lie there, staring at the door for what feels like hours. Malik is my boyfriend now. I get changed for bed and sleep well that night. I bet you do. Oh, thank goodness for that. We got somewhere. I wake up to see decently late. Saturday morning, worried that I've missed the Q&A meeting before remembering there isn't one today. Wait, Malik and I are dating now. I should go find him. I guess I have to help clean the house today too. I'm not sure where Malik will be, so I decide to... I, so I, I'm tripping over words. So I decide to start at the Q&A room. I get dressed and head out. Malik and the Lizzies are in the Q&A room, sitting on a couch and talking. Carlos! Liz gets up and gives me a hug before taking my hand and pulling me over to a couch. Spill. <laughs> Malik moves closer to me and leans against my side. His weight against me is nice. W what? Malik won't say what happened last night after you asked him out. Did you do it in the studio? Babe. Ooh, what do we say? <gasps> what do we say? 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 Is that bad? Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's... Did that go up or down? I don't think it did. I think that's private. Oh, Babe, let's not discuss Carlos and Malik's love life. Okay. Help me convince Malik to wear a crop top. Uh, what? Yes, because the world needs to see my midriff. What's this about midriff? Oh, yes, we've seen this. Daniel, she gives him a hug. Well, Elizabeth, to you too. Is that new shirt? Eggplant. Big propping eggplants. Oh, wow. Well, okay, maybe we should put on a movie or something. Dan, Dan looks at Malik leaning against me on the couch. Wait, are you two a thing? Malik got a boyfriend! You'd think Carlos would be done with women and instead want a real man to fuck- Oh, for fuck's sake. Not you as well. You and Tom should go find a corner somewhere and just- I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you need to go somewhere and stop being so sodding rude. What, like you? Carlos likes his men to actually take care of themselves. You could go to the gym every once in a while. Stop it, Malik. Stop body shaming. Dan, stop being an asshole. You're just jealous. Whatever. You can have him. He never booty called me anyway. You don't have to talk about me like I'm not here. Malik, Mike walks into the room. Oh, sorry, I must have... Um, right, there was no meeting this week. Michael, she gives me a, she gives me a hug. <laughs> she gives him a hug. Hello, sorry if I was interrupting at something. Not at all. Please come in. Is that an aubergine? A what? Never mind. No, James. He's probably spending the day fucking Chris. Okay, new rule. Don't talk about anyone's sex life but your own. Okay, hey Michael. Let's go. Yeah, mug them of the virginity that makes sense. You can look at my eggplant. Or your top. Out top if you want me to be. Yeah, I think we saw that. Dan, stop hitting on the freshman. I should probably go be going. Something slipped in my room. Um, I should probably be going, my darlings. He kisses me quickly. I'll see you tonight. I probably won't be free tonight, although I'm tempted to skip cleaning the house. Ah, tomorrow then. Should I, should I come find you? The house is usually locked, and I'm not sure how many people are around. I can come find you tomorrow morning. 
Are we working the desk all day? He kisses me again, gives Liz a, li, li, Liz a hug and leaves. So, a movie? Fine, let's watch your stupid movie. That's the spirit. I wonder, if I start cleaning the house now, do... Okay, I'm going to check and continue and if this doesn't quite work then I'll go I'll go back start cleaning the house actually I should probably go there was a party at the house last night and I should help clean up we'll see you later Carlos bye Carlos we already know what Mike says <laughs> we already we already saw that glorious comment house is a mess Head back to the room and sit at my computer. I have an email from Malik with photos from our shoot. It's a bit embarrassing to have naked photos of myself, but Malik seems to have done a good job shooting them. I save the email away for later and start up instant messenger. Hey, hey, how was the party? So, so, about the usual, but I wanted to tell you something. Malik and I are dating. Oh, now. Oh, nice. Congrats. Thanks. Tell me what happened. Sunday. I woke up banging. Let's find Malik. Walk into Nate's. Just running into every everyone today. Hey dude, I was just coming by to see if you were up yet. Yes, but yeah, but I was going to find Malik. Ah, hitting the gym? No, just um we're dating now. Dude, congrats! Thanks, Chico. I'm going to I'm just going to do some work then, but come find me if you're free up later. He heads back up, back towards his room and I head to the student centre. Malik's walking down the hallway towards the gym gym desk. Well look who it is. How were the boys you ditched me for? <laughs> I should come I should have come to see you instead of helping out at Honey, I'm kidding. I'm glad you took your frat responsibility seriously. I do wonder if there was an extra scene to go and see, but I, I think it would have been go to Q&A and then it would have been straight into frat cleanup. So it doesn't really matter either way. Um, um, they were usually mostly passed out hu and hung over it still. It seems worse than usual, boys and their alcohol. The attendant at the desk smiles at Malik and starts packing up her things. You do wonder, actually, if um, Malik does drink alcohol, because he he is he is from Iraq. So if he is Muslim, then he won't. He if he is if he is if he is a Muslim, then he won't he won't be drinking alcohol. That is a, probably a good point to um, look out for, perhaps. Anyway, I'm just... Maybe he doesn't care, who knows. Anyway, I'm just going to be sitting here all day, but that's not going to be very fun for you. What are your plans for today? Ooh. I'm going to save it, and then... You don't have to do that, sweetie. I know you don't like sitting around and not doing anything. I'd like to spend some time with you, though, to make up for last night. You don't have to make up for last night, but if you insist, I won't say no. Oh. Whoa, that that just went up like how did that go up? Wow, um, I don't know when that went up. I don't know. Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. Who cares? If you insist, I won't say no. The other attendant leaves and Malik takes a seat behind the desk. I'm not really supposed to have other people back here though, so you might get asked to leave at some point. But it should be a quiet day, so it'll probably be okay. I run back to my room, grab a textbook and some notes and join Malik at the gym desk. Despite the homework, it's a pretty nice morning of talking and holding his hand under the desk. Soon, I start to think about lunch. Should I grab you something for lunch? I bought a sandwich, but thank you, honey. We should go find Adam and eat him at... <laughs> You should go find Adam and eat him or something. With him? Sure. <laughs> Whoa! That that was obviously the right thing to do. I can go grab something and come eat with you. I won't say no, but then you have to spend your afternoon doing something that isn't sitting here. As nice as it is to spend time with you, I know there's things you'd rather be doing. Sure, I'll be back in a bit then. 
Ah, young love, I decide to grab a burger. The fries are cheddar fries today. That's surprisingly normal. I bet they're nothing like proper cheddar. <laughs> I, I just can't imagine any cheddar, anything named cheddar in the US tastes anything like proper cheddar from the UK. So it's one of those, it's one of those cheeses that isn't actually, that you can you, isn't protected you can just make anywhere um it's not it's not like some of the cheeses where you are live you are you can only make it in certain area you can only make it in the area that it originated from so or market it and sell it in the area uh, from the from the area you know you can you can obviously import and export but anyway i order a couple of, i order I order a couple of orders of fries intended to give one to Malik, and they turn out to be fried strips of cheddar rather than fries covered in cheese. Interesting. I hand Malik the fries. What's this? The sign said cheddar fries, so I thought you might like some. Oh honey, don't tempt me. He picks one up. These seem more like cheese sticks than fries. He takes a bite. These are just breaded and fried strips of cheddar, which makes them cheese sticks. Just with cheddar instead of mozzarella. Oh, I love sticks with mozzarella in. <laughs> oh, I love them. Well, that tray is for you. Well, thank you, honey. You're spoiling me already. Malik pull out, pull, pulls out his sandwich, which turns out to be just peanut butter and jelly. And we have a nice lunch together. Thank you for spending the morning with me, sweetie. But as you promised, I'm kicking you out to do something more fun for you now. To do something more fun for you now. It was really nice. I'll see you tonight. I finish up at seven if you want to come by then. I'll see you then. Ma Malik smiles, looks around and then kisses me quickly. I walk down the hallway and consider my afternoon plans. God, this chair is getting stuck. I'm going to hang out at q and I head to the Q&A room. It's Mike! Couch of a notebook. Oh, hello. Wonder if I join you. Physics, yeah. Okay. Hi, honey. Almost finished? Almost. Alex is running a little late and I can't leave until she gets here. Come sit back here with me. I do, and he quickly kisses my cheek. It's been busier than I expected today. Maybe everyone who didn't leave for break decided to come to the gym at the same time. I didn't come to the gym today, for once. So, what did you think of the photos? They were really good. You have a real eye for f photography. Oh, honey, stop it. No, keep going. <laughs> I shrug. Photography isn't really my thing, so I don't know what to say other than that. Well, I'm glad you think they turned out well. Liz is giving me some use useful feedback, but she says I have to pay her back by modelling for her. Ah, the crop top? Yeah. I think you'd pull that off well. Liz does too. We'll see. He puts his hand on my arm. Do you want to model again for me sometime? Yeah, last time was really fun. I'll hold you to that then. A girl walks up to the desk. Hey Alex, let me grab my things and we'll get out of your hair. He starts pe packing up his things. I have another sandwich, but I'll happily sit with, sit with you wherever you want to go for dinner. Dude, this is a d dinner. Pick somewhere you want to go and I'll pay for you. Honey, that's sweet of you, but I don't need you to pay for me. You let me take you... You let me take you out to dinner at the house. Let me take you out somewhere. That was different. Well, then do something else different and let me buy you dinner. Well, if you're going to get all worked about, worked up about it, I suppose I have no choice. It's one condition, though. You have to choose the place. I get where Malik's coming from. If you don't have lots of money, you don't really want to... You don't really want to... F look like you're sponging off of everyone else i know where we should go obviously pizza the yard is less busy than usual and we're seated quickly malik seems seems engrossed in the menu usually adam and i just split a pizza but if there's he puts down the menu and smiles at me that's fine honey whatever you normally get dude you can order whatever you want it doesn't have to be a pizza it's been a while since I've eaten at a restaurant. You know what's good here, so you should order for us. Oh, oh! I have a feeling. Oh God, that was easy. Um, how do you feel about pineapple and jalapeno? It's 
Any preferences? Surprise me. Oh, I don't know. Let's do that. I can't say I've ever considered that combination before. It's the best combination. Adam and I have gotten Chris into it, although he usually picks off the jalapenos. I enjoy spicy food, so it sounds intriguing. I order the pizza and a salad to share. So, did you have a productive day? Yeah, I had few uninterrupted stretches than I expected, so I have some large design work that I put off. But I got a lot done anyway. How? What about you? Well, I know what you did this morning. How was your afternoon? Pretty good. Went to Q&A and watched a movie. Oh, that sounds nice. It'd be nice to spend some more time with you. But I'm working every day this week. I might try to get to Liz to get Liz to book some more studio time some evening though for photos. Seems like a nice break from work for you. Yeah, it's it's nice having something to do that isn't work, something I actually want to be doing. He holds my hand under the table. Kind of like this. I'm glad, dude. The food arrives and dinner is a pleasant time. Malik seems to really enjoy the pizza and salad. I pay for the meal and we head outside. Thank you again for dinner, sweetie. That was really nice. Of course. So do you um want to come back to my room? Feeding me and then asking me to put feeding me and then asking me to put out, honey? No, I just we don't have to. Honey, I'm kidding. I'd love to go back to your room and do what whatever you'd like me to do there. I um okay. <laughs> Sex music. The house is fairly empty and we make it to my room without incident. I shut the door behind me and stand there, not sure of what to do next. Malik walks up to me and traces his finger down my chest and hooks it hooks it on the top button. So I don't want to push you to push you or make you do something you're not comfortable with. I am um, this is nice though. He runs his fingers over my clothed cock and I gasp. Fuck. Was that a request or a comment? I tug at his shirt, he smiles and pulls it off before unbuttoning mine. What do you want, baby? Anything. You strip each other and make our way to the bed. Dude, you're beautiful. Speak for yourself, gorgeous. Not that I've seen not that I haven't seen this before, but now I can he strokes my cock roughly and I moan. Can I blow you? God, please. I quickly grab some condoms and pass him one. He looks at me confused. Uh, I, I want to do the same for you. Come here, baby. We slip the condoms on each other and Malik flips himself. I can feel his breath against his crotch. I don't think I've ever been so turned on in my life. What What should I do? Whatever feels good to you, baby. He takes me to the roots in one swift motion and I my fully yell. I tentatively take him in my mouth. In my, in my mouth. Oh, it's a firework. There must be another score on the football. Um, and rather than being unpleasant, it's actually extremely arousing. All oh, the football's ended. Whoa! Meanwhile, there's a game going on right here. He's talented and his tongue and lips feel amazing on me. From the noises he makes, I seem not to be doing such a bad job myself. I guess this is, I guess this is my real first time. The first time that matters anyway. I thought I heard some ye yelling, but anyway. His hand moves to gently massage, massage, massage my balls and rub my thigh, and it's hotter than it, than it has, any, has any business being. I grab his ass and pull as much of him into my mouth as I think I can handle, and he makes a pleasured sound. Between what he's doing to me and the knowledge that he's also enjoying this, it doesn't take long for me to find my release. I cry out, the cock in my mouth dampening the sound a bit, and he slows down with his mouth, gently guiding me through my orgasm. He picks up his own thrusting he picks up his own thrusting into my mouth and I try to clamp down tightly as I can, letting him fuck my face. He doesn't take him much longer. His lips around my cock as he comes. I gain enough sense to suck again, and he seems to stifle the yell. We lie there for a bit, uh, cocks softening each other's mouths, and not quite willing to move yet. Then Malik releases me, and I do the same. He climbs back the right way and kisses me quickly, before wrapping my arms around him and snuggling into my chest. We, li we lie there for a while afterward, wrapped in each other's arms. That was amazing. I can feel him, him smile against my chest and his hand traces down my side. I'm glad, sweetie. Can we do that again sometime? I definitely wouldn't say no to that. Good. But I should head back. Oh, okay. He kisses me again and I watch him get dressed. Thank you for an amazing evening. Same to you. 
He kisses me again, then leaves. I lie in bed for a while, staring at the ceiling and feeling content. It's spring break, so I have real commitments for the week. This is going to be great. Okay, right, so... I think the week we need to get up to is week 11 and we are in week oh shit i nearly i nearly loaded a bit. I can't... luckily i didn't click on a, a an occupied slot but anyway uh maybe i can fit two more weeks in should i fit two more weeks in i don't know it's gonna be a bit odd i've got one video where i go to week 11 i got another video where i go to week 11 but hey um it's spring break da -da 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 -da. Meeting is cancelled. We'll just hang around the house. The Q and A room is always open. Well, I, I'm actually going to spend some time at Q and A. Those two times, I don't know whether it's going to mean anything or not. Whether Mike is always going to be there on those week on those days, it might, it might not come up with anything. Uh, da, 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 da. Swim, 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 swim. I can study in with Nate and Nick Hill whenever. Every morning and afternoon. Well, you know what's going to happen, don't you? Um, I think I heard more fireworks. So some something good must have happened. Or maybe everybody's getting angry because England lost. I don't watch the football, but I've been counting this. I've been every time that there's a goal, there's usually a firework. So right, okay. So if I oh, well, it raises happiness going at Q and A. Okay, well, that's that's not too bad then. So I'm gonna go to the gym to keep up with the Maliks. I mean, I don't think I've got any problems here. Um, and get a swim in the evening, I think. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Because I know I probably don't need to... I, I, you probably don't need to go this heavy into everything, but it... And I'm sure hard mode probably would have you doing this, but... Jim, 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 Jim. And then we swim in the evenings. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to make one of those a study. If I do a study here, then that goes down to 17. If I do a study here... That goes down to 16. Oh, God. Right, okay. I don't really have much of a choice, really. Or do I need to bother? Oh, screw the studying. It doesn't matter. Just go swim. Just go swim, dude. Go swim. And have your Q&A hangout. It doesn't... It doesn't... Hurt. Oh... Oh, to hell with it. That's fine. Execute the plan. I think there's nothing really going on during the week. At... Anyway, we want to do it. We want to do one extra week. Dan, Mike, and Liz's zebra. Yeah. What's up, bitches? Hi, Malik. Well, look who decided to grow. Uh, fuck you too, honey. You wish. Speaking of... Cooking with semen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, Carlos, you get to watch your boyfriend flaunt his body. I, um, is that okay? Malik kisses me on the cheek. Honey, you get to be embarrassed with me now. You get to be embarrassed with me now. Liz takes my arm and Malik's arm in each hand and pulls us towards the door. <laughs> oh, 
She's absolutely adorable. Um, the studio does seem to be free, and I grab a seat on the side as Liz fuzzes with, f fusses with some lights. I still think this isn't me. Nonsense, you'll be fabulous. Fine, let's see these shirts you made. Oh, let's see how Carlos looks in them. W what? You'd be gorgeous. I guess. <laughs> yes, we got to do that. There's no way I wasn't. I'm sure there's a fancy photo of, of that as well. Um, probably. I mean, this is still the early build. There might be extra bits in the um, final. So, yeah. Um, enjoy if there are any bits that extra bits to the um, final release that aren't being shown here. Enjoy them. Um, I ha it has been implied to me by Bob that there are. Um, so, Liz hands me a shirt and I try to pull it on, but it won't fit over my shoulders. Oh. I'm not surprised since you made them to my size, but I have to say I don't mind watching Carlos get changed. But let's get this over with. I keep hearing weird noises. It's a bit difficult with these headphones, but anyway. Manic change changes shirts and Liz grins at him. Yes. I don't know. Come on. This and a pair of short shorts and you'd look amazing. It is actually fairly comfortable. You got the sizing right. I just worked off of the one of your t-shirts, so that's not surprising. What do you think, Carlos? You look good. I knew it. You just want to stare at my body. It's not that. I just... Honey, I'm kidding. And even if I wasn't, I definitely wouldn't mind. Okay, now drop your pants. Honey. I want to see how it looks when you're not wearing such formal bulky pants. Excuse you. These fans... The, these pants? These pants fit me very well, girl. Yeah, yeah, take them off. <laughs> he does, and I can't stop staring at him, even though I've seen him completely naked before. Carlos approves. Can we get this over with already? Liz sets up a camera and snaps away for a bit. Malik seems to get more comfortable as she does. I can't stop staring at him. Let's try a different colour. Aren't they all the same? Yes, but this colour doesn't go with your underwear. I can't tell if somebody's whooping or laughing. She's throwing, she throws a little shirt at him and he changes into it. This feels exactly the same. I made five in exactly the same size. You didn't need, to, you didn't make some variants in case they didn't fit me? Nope, and they all fit perfectly. This colour goes with your underwear too. She snaps, a, snaps away again for a bit. Door opens and a guy starts to walk in before apologising and closing the door again. <laughs> okay, do you have everything you need? Yep. Malik changes back into his regular clothes and Liz hands the pile of shirts to him. And these are for you, girl. Oh, don't give me that. They are your size and they won't fit anyone else anyway. I had to make them for an assignment and I have one left to hand in. And photos of you in some of the others. Take them. Ma Malik looks dubious but takes the shirts. Well, thank you, sweetie. I might have to wear these when the weather warms up. Yes, they look amazing on you. Just wear them with those short shorts that you have. Oh, sorry, I'm hearing something in the music. It's not whooping or squeaking or whatever. It's it, it's something I'm detecting in the music. Oh, these headphones are brilliant. They, I can pick out everything that's, that's playing. It's great. Glad I spent all the money I did on them. And now I have to, I have to take you two out to lunch for modeling for me. And I don't want to hear one word about it unless that word is the name of a restaurant. <laughs> but I didn't model. That's not a restaurant. <laughs> I would really love that to be a restaurant. I didn't model. <laughs> but I didn't model. Well, thank you, honey. That's still not a restaurant. <laughs> I wouldn't mind checking out the dining hall if you insist. I hear they're doing a dining hall it is. I would be tempted to say that isn't a restaurant. The dining hall seems to be doing a la carte dishes instead of a la carte dishes instead of a buffet, and the food actually looks good. Liz buys Malik a few different plates of meat with sides and a salad over his objections. I I set I settle over a decent looking baked pasta and we all sit at a table together. It's surprisingly comfortable, despite my usual unease around Liz, and she and Malik make me feel welcome. Malik's hand in my under the table doesn't hurt either. Well, thank you for lunch and the shirt, sweetie. 
You're welcome. I'll get a box for the leftovers and take them home for you. And take them home for you. I can take the shirts too. I should start. I should go start my shift soon. He squeezes my hand and stands. I'll see you later, baby. Bye, Malik. We watch him leave. So, are you going to break his heart? Oh, she's doing the um, she's doing the protective friend routine. Well, what? Malik doesn't let people in because he's afraid of being hurt, and he won't let himself depend on anyone or owe or owe anyone anything because he doesn't think he can trust anyone else. But he lets he's let you in at least a little, so don't you dare fuck it up. Anyway, thank you for joining us for lunch. I uh. Oh. Oh. I don't know. I don't think it matters. But I'm going to say I won't know. She nods. Okay, I know it's not my place. I know dating doesn't always work out. But take care of him as best you can. He's too stubborn for his own good sometimes. I nod and she picks up the leftover food and heads out. Did that actually... Oh, it did go up. Okay, it just felt a very odd way to say goodbye. I nod and she picks up leftover food and heads out. But then again, she didn't really... Um... <laughs> she was just overly concerned. I understand that. Th this was an interesting morning. I considered my options for the afternoon. Jim. <laughs> Obviously. I grab my gym clothes and head to the gym. Malik is, of course, working the desk. Well, look who it is. Couldn't stay away from me. Something like that. I swipe my card and he hands me a towel. So are you busy tonight? Unfortunately, but come find me tomorrow, sweetie. Okay, good luck with your homework. Thank you, honey. Have a nice workout. Jim is fairly crowded, but I managed to get some weights and running in. Dinner. An uneventful meal. Stare at my computer, at my am list. No. No. No, 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 no. You are not danning a thing. You are going to masturbate. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I wake up too early on Sunday and mostly fail at falling back asleep. Maybe I'm just dreading classes starting up again. I sit at my computer and watch some internet videos before heading down for breakfast. Find Malik. Hi, sweetie. Good morning. Hitting the gym? I just wanted to come by and see you. I might go swimming. That's sweet of you. I keep meaning to look into lifeguard duty, but it's harder to do homework there. Is that the shirt Liz made for you? Oh, yes. I think I'd give it a try and see how I felt. I thought I'd feel more self-conscious, but it's actually really comfortable. You have nothing... Ooh... I you know it's probably annoying me sitting there and uh... well okay mister I have an eight pack and could probably crush beer cans with my thighs but thank you I guess I should go swimming you do that that didn't harm anything I'll see you tonight I get off a little late today so it might be after dinner for you that's fine I'll come by then that sounds nice sweetie I'll see you then the pool is actually fairly busy but I still managed to get some swimming in I grab a sandwich and eat it on the bench, enjoying the nice weather. Suitcase. Hmm. Go for a run. I grab my athletic clothes and run around campus for a while. It's a good workout, but it's time for dinner. Yeah. No. Maybe it's time I consider coming out of the house, but in the meantime, it's back to the grind. Okay, we're going to do this week, and then we'll um, call it a call it call time on everything. So. Mike hands up there. Mon Monday. And Wednesday afternoons, we
we get a decent amount of classes in. Um, Malik works. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, what I'm going to do is replace these with swimming. Ooh! When did that appear? Okay. Okay, we're going to do that because that's that's fun and then we're going to go swimming and swim. We're on a we're on a course to happiness there, so I'm actually going to save that as the default cuz that's a better plan. It kind of means I could go and do extra classes, but we're pretty good on that front, to be honest. I don't think it really matters too much that he doesn't do classes in the afternoon. It's just... <laughs> it's just everything else. So, okay, let's get this... Let's get this uh, final week done that we're going to do on this video. And, uh, yeah. We talk a lot with Mike about being from another country. <laughs> Friday. I can't believe it's almost April. Malik said he'd be sh in the shooting studio again, so I guess I should go find him. Oh, hello, Mark. Malik, Mark and Liz are in the studio when I arrive. Mark's pulling on a shirt. Hey, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Honey, like you could interrupt anything. He grabs me and kisses me deeply. It's nice to see you again, Carlos. You seem to have every everything under control, so I'm going to leave, but if it... Remember, if anyone asks, I just stepped out quickly. Thanks again, darling. She kisses him on the cheek and heads out. You changed your hair. Oh yeah, they say redheads have more fun and all that. That's blondes. So now you're having less fun. <laughs> well, at least I'm now ready to party. Malik hits his arm. He's got the next part of his tattoo too. Over break. Oh yeah, it did get bigger. It has got bigger. Okay. I do remember um, actually uh, hearing talk about how that went down, um, but I didn't. I didn't know that it was going to be a progressive tattoo. That's rather interesting, you know. It, it it is. It does offer a bit of interesting character progression, just subtle character progression in the background. That's 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 a really interesting um, thing to do that's that's actually rather interesting i like that that's a good idea well done that man okay he's got the next part of his tattoo too over break babe you say that like I have, i've planned this out i've just got something added on to it by the way i wanted to apologize for any confusion i caused about malik oh it's no big deal dude malik says i should get a shirt that says i'm gay taken and not dating malik i could get liz to make one for you would be a major contribution for her. I hate you. I love you too, babe. I was going to shoot Mark for a bit. You're welcome to step in, honey, if you'd like. But we can go off and have some alone time afterward. You mean the two of us at the same time or after him? Maybe you should. Maybe you two should make out for me. That would lead to a very different kind of shooting. Sorry. Maybe maybe that was maybe a, a bit inappropriate. Together is fine. Separate is fine. Whatever you two are comfortable with. Hmm. God, I've made my ne I've made my neck red from playing with it, giving giving myself a hickey. Um, <laughs> um, uh, if you don't mind, Mark, this will be more interesting. Please. Oh, did that harm? I hope it doesn't. Mark and I stand together between the lights, not really sure of what to do. Mark. Unbutton Carlos's shirt. Is that okay, Carlos? Yeah, he does, and Malik snaps a few shots. Okay, Carlos, unbutton it all the way and sit, and Mark stand behind him with your hands on his shoulders. We do, and I feel a bit self-conscious. Yes, just like that. This feels like a weird prom photo. Shall I, shall I switch back to a t-shirt? No, this is fine. You're sexy in that hoodie. Mark laughs and shakes his head. 
Malik shoots us for a while until Mark reminds him that the studio time is almost up. I button my, my shirt again and Mark lightly, pat, light, lightly pats my shoulder. That was fun, Carlos. Hands off my boy. He didn't seem to mind a few minutes ago. That was for professional. Malik comes up to me and kisses me deeply. My hands are free now. You two are cute, but you should pack up first and make out later. Mark, Malik puts, <laughs> puts away some of the photo equipment and we head out of the building. It's, it got a little cold. You're telling me. I told you it was too early in the year to wear that shirt. Well, I just wanted to see how I felt in this. Liz says she's going to make me some shorts to go with it. It looks good on you, babe. Anyway, I should head home. Let me know how the pictures turn out. It was nice to see you, Carlos. Bye, sweetie. You seem to be really getting into this. It's You seem to be really getting into this. It's nice, you know, to have something that isn't work or classes. Plus, I get to stare at hot men like you and Mark for an hour. By the way, do you mind if I show the photos from my last shoot with Mark? I assumed you had already. No, I showed Liz because it only seemed it seemed only fair. But since she got the studio time for me, since she got the studio time for me, I wanted to know how it went. But they feel really personal because I'm naked. Well, that's not why it feels personal, but that's another reason I wanted to ask you first. It was the night we became official, so it feels a bit like our thing. Oh, that's nice. I don't mind if you want to show him. I should figure out what I'm going to do with my photos in general at some point. It would be nice to print some and decorate my wall. Well, if I had a wall to decorate, and if I could afford the painting. Ooh. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I don't know. Ooh, that actually went down. Okay, that was the wrong choice. I can pay for some printing for you. That's sweet. But again, I wouldn't have a place to put them. Yeah, I think that's probably a case of, do you re not realise my situation? Anyway, I was thinking we could eat at Q&A. I have a sandwich I packed this morning and we can stop somewhere for you. Can I buy you dinner? I know, I'm really sorry if, um... I'm really sorry if that, if, if you're getting annoyed with me flipping backwards and forwards. I'm gonna say the other thing. There's no point in wasting a sandwich, but thank you, sweetie. Well, here's the, here's the burger place. Let me stop and get something. Of course. The fries today are, are strawberry sherbet. Sherbet? Sherbet? I think it's sherbet. I'm going to say sherbet. Or sherbet. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, sherbets are the sweets, aren't they? That's Well, for, for us they are. I'm kind of morbidly curious. I'll get you some if you want to try some. Or if you actually want to try them yourself. Only if you actually want to try them yourself. I get a burger and the fries, which looks like a bunch of strawberry sauce over fries. It, it looks like a little poutine with the whipped cream. Seems like it could be an interesting dessert item. Dan's sitting alone in Q&A, typing on his computer when we arrive. Oh, hi. Don't strain something, darling. <laughs> Malik and I sit on the couch. He pulls out a sandwich and hooks his arm around mine. So how are the fries? I try one. It tastes like a warm strawberry, su strawberry, strawberry sundae. The fries, I think, are a, are sweet potato. That actually doesn't seem too bad. Mind if I try one, please? He takes one and chews it thoughtfully. These are pretty nice, but as I said, they feel more like a dessert item than a side dish. Well, if you don't mind the whipped cream being a little melted, we can share them after we eat. That would be nice. Are you two done flirting? Are we making you jealous, honey? I want. I just want to write in peace. Well, well, who got your panties all in a twist today? Forget it. Enjoy your dinner. He packs up his laptop and leaves. Ugh. Salty bitch. God, got a sore point on my back. He packs up his laptop and leaves. I'm actually just backing myself into the chair and I think it's... 
Maybe it's got me a bit all sore. I've been sitting here for ages. I'm just going to do that. He packs up his laptop and leaves. Did something happen between you two? Like angry sex or a, or a date gone wrong? No, he's always just found me annoying. I'm sure this shirt I'm wearing doesn't help. Ah, you should wear it all the time then. We eat our food together and share the fries afterward. He wraps his arms around him after he wraps it, my arms around him afterwards and lead, leans back against me. This is really nice. I find his hand and clasp our fingers together, resting on his leg. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't have any ideas of what to do. I'm sorry I don't didn't have any ideas of what to do. I don't didn't. Bob. <laughs> you need to correct that if you haven't already. I'm not going to take a picture of it for you, Bob. You can watch this video and find out. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll tell you after this. I would I would take a print screen, but I'm worried about mucking up things. No, this is nice. Just getting to spend some time alone with you. We sit there together for a bit in comfortable silence. Tell me about your crushes. Wh what? Tell me about guys you've had a crush on in the past. Well... Um... I'm sure this doesn't really matter, but... <laughs> okay. Oh, girl, please do. Um, I don't know. He's really hot and responsible and isn't afraid to be affectionate in the way a lot of guys are. Stupid, fragile mascu masculinity. And I just really like spending time with him. Straight crushes are both the worst and the best. They're, they're great because you never have to wonder if you have a chance and you can just admire from afar. I guess it's just hard sometimes when we're spending time together and he's being affectionate. And that's why they're the worst. What about you? Crushes? Yeah. Well, one of the big ones I did... Well, one of the big ones I did something about. He kisses me gently. Oh, I... Well, I guess it would be more accurate to say you did something about. I had a crush on Mark for a bit, even though I knew he was unavailable. I guess that's it's kind of like you and Adam in that way. I've al also... I've also always found Adam partic particularly cute. Oh, I... Malik and Carlos! Liz walks into the room. Did that? Hmm. Sorry. Liz walks into the room. Why, hello, darling. You two look very comfortable. I'm wrapped up in Carlos's hard muscles. This is heaven. How was the photo shoot? It went very well. Thank you again for the studio time. It's this label. It's the, it's the jeans digging into my back. You're going to you're going to model shorts for me this weekend, right? I wish you would wouldn't make more clothes for me, honey. <laughs> but it's easy to make clothes for you. Yes, but yes, I will model shorts for you. So how about a movie? We watch a movie together and Malik kisses me to good night afterward before I head back to the house. I head back to my room and watch some internet videos for a while before heading to bed. Oh, this is going to be a longer video. I wake up Saturday morning from a dream about Malik. That was really nice. I'd lie there for a bit feeling content before realising I should probably head to Q&A. It's, nice it's nice to see... Um, Mark actually, um, Mark, Mark, Ma, um, uh, Carlos, 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 um, actually enjoy going to Q and A for once. Great, that works for me too. Well, look who it is, Carlos. Hey there, sexy man. That sh that shirt look shirt looks good on you. Liz gives me a hug. I kiss Malik quickly. He he laughs, grabs me, and kisses me more forcibly. Sheesh, get a room, you two. I'm not the person who's been having sex. I'm not the person who's been having sex on this couch. Well, at least I can get some. I don't know why Carlos is dating you anyway. It'd be like dating a girl. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Please do explain what you mean by that, darling. Just like that, you're such a fucking fairy. Dan, nuh uh, get out. You can't kick me out. I definitely can. You are not welcome here today. Jeez, whatever. Fine. Well, that's one way to move out. He storms out and Liz shakes her head. That wasn't necessary, sweetie, but thank you. This is supposed to be a safe place for everyone. Dan needs to learn to respect you at least while while he's here. Yes, it's this music. <laughs> it keeps. 
It makes me think something else is going on. Wait until he sees the shorts Liz made for me. We're going to flaunt your gorgeous legs all over his homophobic ass. <laughs> you tell him, girl. I just saw Dan walking off down the hallway. Michael! She gives him a hug too. Oh, hello. We had a bit of drama. Somehow that doesn't surprise me with Dan. But please, come in. We're starting soon. Liz takes my hand and drags me to a couch next to Malik. Then sits down at my other side. Mike sits on the arm of the couch. Malik leans against my side and sets my hand on his thigh. That's okay? That's very okay. I kind of like making Malik, um, Dan jealous. He's really being an ass to you. Well, that's Dan for you. I think the other option would have been, just been a really bad thing to say. Well, that's Dan for you. I look around noticing for the first time that there are some balloons taped to the walls. Liz notices. It's Liz, Liz's birthday today, so I put up some balloons. They're very nice. There's cake too. So, okay, if everyone can find a seat, we'll get started. First off, I want to remind everyone that Saturday is the drag show. It's going to be at this time. This It's going to be at this time this year because the theatre wasn't available in the evening. Malik, you should do it. I don't know, honey. It'll piss Dan off. You do have a point there. We'll go dress shopping at the Goodwill together, honey. And moving on. The rest of the meeting is fairly uneventful. Liz breaks out a cake featuring some actress from the L word and people grab a cake as they file out. I've heard a lot of things from... I watch a lot of tech videos and I've seen a few uh, certain uh, YouTubers um, do a lot of um, do a lot of um, trips to Goodwill and it's, it's really odd seeing such a big place selling secondhand stuff like that. I mean... We have charity shops in the UK, but they're all usually very tiny, and they mainly they mainly just sell clothes and maybe odd bits, odd other bit, odds and ends. It's not really doesn't really look as uh, there's not really a lot to them, to be honest. Um, but yeah, should go. Bye, James. Break a leg. I thought his show didn't go didn't open for another couple of weeks. He it doesn't. I just like that expression. May remember when he broke his arm? I thought he just sprained it or something. Or whatever. Apparently injuries aren't good luck in theatre. I'm not sure that's how it works, babe. <laughs> Have some more cake. You can eat Mia's lips. Maybe later, babe, but thanks for the gesture. Malik, Carlos, let's go shoot some photos. You don't have to come, Carlos. I bet you want him to come in more ways than one. It's fine, I'm happy to come along. Liz seems to check a piece of paper on the door of the photo studio. Yes, no one's claimed it this time yet. She scribbles something on the sheet and drags us inside. Okay, strip. My my, what would Liz say? Um, she meant me, baby. Although, I certainly wouldn't mind if you wanted to start removing some clothing as well. I, I keep my clothes on and Malik puts off, pull, pulls off his pants while Liz ruffles through her backpack and pulls some, out some pairs of shorts. Okay, these are a little short because I screwed up the first one, but I decided, but I but decided I actually liked the way it looked. She tosses a pair to Malik. If you don't like them, I can make some more that are a bit longer. We can't really see. Malik pulls them and tugs, pulls them. Oh God, sorry. Malik pulls them on and tugs at the bottoms. What do you think, Carlos? You look really hot. Carlos is a legs man. Then he can have some of this later. He twirls around. I should have worn a different shirt. The colours don't really go together. Everything goes with black. She shoots Malik for a bit before throwing him another pair. This colour would work well with the white shirt you made. That just means we'll have to do this again sometime. Come here, Carlos. Take some pictures of us together. She does, and soon as a knock at the door. That's probably the next person. Thank you for the shorts, honey. Of course. Thank you for modelling for me. Malik kisses me. I have an early shift at the gym today, so I should be going. Maybe I'll see you this afternoon. I look forward to it. Fun. I head out to try and head out to try and find lunch. I spot Jake and Hannah sitting on a bench eating what looks like burgers. Jake spots me, and I head over. Hi, Carlos. Hey, come join us. I sit down next to him on the bench. Burgers. Yeah, the fries were, some were something with sauerkraut and mustard and Swiss cheese. I'm not sure if that sounds better or worse than the usual. Worse. She picks up a bag. Well, I'll have to run for now, but maybe I'll see you at games this afternoon, Carlos. Yeah. I should get a burger or something. Try the fries, too. 
I get a burger and some fries and sit with Jake while he finishes his second burger. I spot Chris walking in our direction. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Hey, I was just coming I was, I was just coming to see if you started games yet. Carlos and I are just finishing up, but Nick Hill might have bought the bag. Are you joining us, Carlos? I'm going to go to the gym. We'll see you later then. Manic's at the desk and seems to appreciate my stopping by. We chat for a bit before I head in. The gym is fairly busy, although I'm able to find some open machines and get in a good workout. Soon it's time for dinner and I grab a sandwich and head back up to my room afterward. I sit at my computer. I sit at my... That's been fixed. And stare at my IM list. Dan, Elias and Chris seem to be online. I guess I could always masturbate, but I don't feel the need to. Okay, so... We're not going to talk to Dan. We're not going to do that. We're not going to talk to um, Chris. Chris and I talk for a while about classes, board games and life in general. Before I know it, it's gotten late and Chris says he wants to head to bed. Sunday. I wake up late Sunday morning, finding that I must have been tossing and turning around during the night. I've had nights like that. Usually it's during the summer. I can imagine April's quite warm in... Uh, in this part, in this part, where whichever part of the US we're in, I wonder what, what I was dreaming about. I try to recall the images, but all I get is a bunch of brothers jeering at me in the common room. Yeah. I've seen some of this dialogue. Morning, bro. French toast. Can I ask you something? What's up? I know you're exactly happy about my, um, fact you suck cock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wonder. Okay, I'm going to do one of those things where I come back to it. Okay, I did look and um, that option actually misses out some Malik. So, <laughs> it misses out some Malik. So, basically, I'm going to go maybe not today. Okay, well, I'm probably going to hit the gym then, but maybe I'll see you later tonight. He heads off, and Tom and I return to the game. I, although I should go find Malik at some point. Chef comes into the room and announce, announces that lunch is ready. It feels like we just ate, but you go ahead. I gotta grab something first. Go find Malik. I was gonna go grab lunch somewhere else. Sure, I'll see you later, bro. Malik and might... M might? Might? Malik and Mike are sitting on the couch chatting in the Q&A room. Hi, honey. Hey. I take a seat next to Malik and he kisses me. He missed some drama this morning. Dan and Liz got into a shouting match. Oh, I'd have loved to have seen that. Liz wanted him to apologise to Malik for yesterday. Oh, that's... I mostly just feel bad for Liz. Last semester, when I wasn't able to make Q&A meetings, Dan and I didn't interact very much. I think she feels torn now. I think it's quite nice that she gets along with both of you and tries to keep the peace. Well, I'm perfectly happy to get along with Dan, but he just needs to accept that people can be gay in their own way, and it's not any less valid. Like James says. Oh honey, that man could say anything he wanted to me. He winds his arm around mine and leans against me. If Carlos didn't mind, of course. But uh, as I was saying when Carlos got here, it's about time for lunch, I think. Ma Ma Malik ru <laughs> rummages around in his bag and pulls out a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I was going to watch more, some more of the Elwood with my lunch unless you wanted to do something else, baby. That actually sounds quite nice. I can grab a burger or something. I'll join you for that if you don't mind. We get in line at the burger place. I wonder what, what flavour the fries are today. Probably something like chilli chili and chocolate and chicken broth. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty close to a fla flavour they had last semester. I've only had the fries a few times. I don't think I'm adventurous enough for them usually. Mike nods. Can I ask you something? Yeah. You know Chris pretty well, right? Yeah, he's my best friend's roommate. Do you know if he hates me? Dude, why would he hate you? I get the sense he doesn't really like it like when James and I spend time together, never mind that it's completely platonic. Also, Chris doesn't seem to like Mike being there even when it's even when he's got the upper hand. Okay. Uh, I I'm sorry. I don't think he's really mentioned anything to me. I just feel awkward because I do enjoy talking with James, but I don't want to complicate things for them. Mm -hmm. 
You have the right to talk to James, dude. You're not trying to steal his boyfriend, and James seems committed enough to him that he shouldn't be worried. Thanks. It makes sense when you put it that way. I've just been winding this around in my head for too long, I think. That's the sort of thing I would do, actually. Do you want me to talk to Chris? Oh no, that feels like it would be wildly inappropriate, but thank you. We get to the front of the line and the fries end up being a chilli lime. That actually seems somewhat normal, although I suppose it's a relative thing. I might try some. God, you're feeling brave, Mike. Actually, I might too. Ma Malik has already, already has the show queued up when we get back. Welcome back, darlings. I see you decided to, tr to brave the fries. They're chilli and lime. Would you like to try one? Oh, I shouldn't, but I don't mind if I do. I spend the rest of the afternoon watching the show with them. I have dinner at the ha I have dinner at the house and head back up to my room afterward. Why is it almost Monday? Okay. It doesn't feel like we've made much progress in terms of the video before and the video in the video now, but we have because we missed out on progress that we should have been making. So yes, this series is going to be slightly longer than what I was expecting it to be, but I'm going to, I'm going to try and get the video down a little bit because there's a lot of there's a lot of um, skipping that doesn't need to be skipped. To be honest, it doesn't need to be seen, not skipped. It needs to be skipped, but it doesn't need to be seen. So. I'm going to try my hardest to try and keep this down to hopefully under an hour. I don't know how successful I'm going to be because that did seem to happen quite early on, but I will do something. I'll, maybe I'll do something creative. I don't know whether I'll get the when I'll get the video out though. I mean, have to see. But I am very very happy with the way this is going. This is very very nice. It it is it does feel slightly slower paced than. The Chris route, which is nicer. It, there's a bit more of a run up to it, so you do get to see what everyone else is doing. It's a, uh, it, it's 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 getting there. It's getting there. This um, it's getting, it's going places. So, um, yeah, I'm interested to see what the the, the last few weeks will do. Um, what will happen? I'm sure there'll be a lot of sexy CGs to come up. I know I've seen inks of CGs. I haven't seen all the full-on ones i don't think so um i'm looking forward to that but yes uh until next time bye, -bye.